He actually deserved that. We have a letter from Emily. Carvo! And got distracted. Remember before when I mentioned a special drawing I was working on for you? This is it. I don't know where you went, but I hope when you get back you see this and like it. I'd like to take it to Dunwall Tower with us. Everyone's acting strange tonight. Samuel was whispering to Callista about a flare launcher that she was supposed to use to call him. He told her to lock the door to my old tower. I heard the Admiral say that the Earth's Two dears that we are leaving tonight for a place called the Lighthouse on King Sparrow Island. I hope you get back before then. Perfect. We now know precisely where we are going. And we are going there with one hell of a grudge. So, we also learned that Piero and Soklov are all alive. And when I say all, I mean both. Let's go hunt down these two jackasses and put an end to them. And one has isolated himself perfectly. Now one down, not in go bar behind the bodies. Kill, move on. Keep it nice and simple. Why is he running? Kill, move on, leave the bodies to inspire terror. Because this is my hunting ground. Okay, almost fucked that up. Let's make this one fun. Oh, that's my idea of a good time. They took all the furniture. Those bastards. Prototype blueprints. Okay, that could be awesome. Not even sure what they are, but it could be awesome. The stilt walkers. Oh, that was a great shot. Could be a different story, but we'll have to see. Can't believe that dude was pissing right where my bed was. He had it coming. Like, definitely had it coming. How I'm gonna handle the stilt walkers? Whoa, what's he shooting at? I don't know. Like. Oh, we found a body and he's not happy about it. <laughs> he just got me a rat bastard. There we go. Took his head off. Leave the body there. Still walker will turn around and see him dead. That is the main idea. Again, I'm reminded there is a river cross down there. So at this stage, should I have been going down there every time I've been back in the Hound Pits pub? Right, we have one dude left in the vicinity. And even when I've gone through this game killing everyone in every single level, this is the way I prefer to do it. With some form of stealth. And finesse. Oh, that is probably either Piero or Sokolov, so they are being promptly bombed by the Stiltwalker there, which kind of seems like how that's going, so intermission. We are back, and the killing spree must continue. I have not yet found an opportunity to use some of my more creative means of killing people here, but I'm sh see what sure we will get to it. it. Actually, let's do it right now. Hey, buddy. Do that. And there is the arrow. There is the target. He's only just a little bit surprised. Ooh, that door. Knocked his fucking helmet off. Loot the crossbow bolt back into my possession, and we should be good to go. Just to be on the safe side, let's... Spring Razor, right there. Catch anyone who comes in through that door after me. 
Yeah, that is both Piero and Sokolov doing their thing or they cowering. Maybe they've made friends at this stage. Have a look. Have luck's orders to guard. Okay, Captain Manning, we've tracked the conspiracy to Hound Pits Pub, searched the premises for the natural philosopher Spiro Joplin and Anton Sokolov. Do what you must to secure all materials related to enhanced dark pylon they've been constructing. Question them thoroughly, and once you are certain you have everything you know the pylon, execute both. Bring the pylon to me along with its papers and recordings. They may be two of the greatest minds of our age, but they're also traitors who conspired with Carvo to bring down this empire. I'm keeping Empress Emily Caldwin. And I'm back. It's a very, very busy household today, but it's better to have it that way than too quiet. So, there may be... Yep, yeah, I'm keeping Empress Emily Caldwin with me at the lighthouse on Kingsborough Island until we're certain that Corvo and his fellow conspirators have been properly dealt with. Lord Regent Havelock. Hmm, that's a nice promotion for our old friend. I wonder how he came by it. So, oh, there's Emily's picture. It's actually quite a nice one. Let's go see if we can save these two idiots. In order to do that, we need to go back upstairs and then go across to adore the rooftops and hope the tall boys don't see me. I make a game out of seeing who can shoot me off it. Should be simple enough. So they were working on some sort of new arc pylon. Which does not sound encouraging. Wow. The guards continue to hurl insults at each other. Do not need the health elixir. Whoa! That is a collage of Carvo. Which is pretty awesome, man. So Emily drew all of this and then constructed it and stuck it up here. That was the picture she was talking about. Clearly, but I was too much of an idiot to see it. So... If you have been killing everyone at this point in the game, that again will just be a picture of the mask. More a spirit of vengeance type deal at that stage. So, we will go over here. Try to avoid everyone, and there is a few. Right. There are two whale oil tanks on their backs. Which is why when I shot that other guy, he just did not die. Huh. That is, in fact, the new Arc Pylon. Oh, I think I remember that. That's fine. Hopefully, Piero left the side balcony door open. So that I can just slip right in, because I do want to save them. Piero's a bit of a douchebag, but whatever. Who's that? Callista! Sweet! Awesome. I am genuinely glad to see that she has survived. And I am looking for a way into Piero's workshop. I think I'm just in the wrong place, but I'm so paranoid that somebody's going to see me up here that I'm a little bit distracted. So, follow the cabling. There we go. And yes... It did leave it open. Couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Oh my god. Which you might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold the I want to ask you about the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss <laughs> your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... Hmm. The river crusts, yes, I'd get <laughs> so much. But I think our approaches may reinforce each other. This is what we've been lacking thus far. Wow, so these two fucking hipsters can create the perfect solution to protect against the plague if they only work together instead of being douche clowns. Well, that's certainly new. Hey, everyone. Bravo. Good to see that you still breathe. Thanks, Soglov. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I know. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. 
With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. Hmm. We tuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. That's convenient. Trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes and ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. Oh, I think that's the thing I picked up. Sokolov and I are not as gifted in the same way. Without the Ark Pylon, it is only a matter of time before they put an end to us. We can get this device working, or you can go out and remove our enemies one by one, whichever you think is best. I think I've eliminated just about as many of the enemies as I care to at this stage. Merely... Because they're all outside under the very, very careful watch of the tall boys now. And I don't want to fuck with them. Unless I throw a sticky grenade at one. Which I think I'm going to do. Soon. Well, I knew it was too good to be true. Seems the conspiracy tried to use old Piero for their own gain and then discard him. But they have cared. And delivered to me an ally almost as brilliant as myself. Old Sokolov and I will hold up here and we can blast the ruffians outside and make for the academy. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. While I very nicely up up a cat call. I keep glancing down at the Oh what is it? The audio feed that is being fed. Ironically enough, into this system a recording program, and at that stage, it spiked as if I'd been hit in the face with something metal. So I can only assume that was pretty unreasonably loud. So I apologize for that. All right, while I'm here, I'm gonna have a bit of fun because. Carvo's legacy so far has been one of the master assassins sneaking around, hardly seen in uh, one or two missions and her ones, leaving behind just a good pile of corpses in the middle of a whorehouse. Because that seems like a good legacy. But in general, I've been very quiet, I've been very non lethal. I think that at this stage in the story, that is only sensible for it to change. Carvo has been betrayed again, and now he is out for vengeance, and he has the abilities to more than see his plans true. And I think it would only be fitting to wire this up to kill everyone, because at that stage, it'll send a very, very clear message. Beforehand, even Lord Regent knew I was still alive. But he did not know I was coming for him. At this stage, the new Lord Regent will. And I think if we get our hands on Havelock, that'll actually be the second Lord Regent we've killed. And I'm noticing a team. Right, I'm gonna wait till Dude Love comes up here, stops, and then go hook a spike grenade into his face. Yeah, because in my playstyle, there's always been kind of an idea behind Carvo and his actions. In stealth, non-lethal playthroughs, it was always to get in and out like a ghost. Seen by no one, and then the enemies would begin to fear. Because people would start to go missing. On the other side... What the fuck's happening? Did you see me? I think they're just bombing the front doors. I don't know. Something went terribly wrong. They're all hyped up because of the body or two around. Or seven. 
do not know where that tall boy is gone, by the way. Not a damn clue. Should he not be back here? What did he get distracted by? Watch now, he'll arrive just as I'm over here trying to set this shit up. A sticky grenade should really put him out of fight though. But on the other side of that exact same kind, if I was the old Lord Regent and I learned that Carvo had escaped and then the next thing I know, my High Overseer is face down in a puddle of his own blood, I might start to get a little bit worried. Then I realize that Soklov, my mad genius, has gone missing and his entire residence is overflowing with blood, I'd get very, very worried. And then, before you know it, Emily has gone missing, and the golden cat is lifeless. And after that, your mistress and financial provider turns up dead at a party where no one escaped alive. That is quite the legacy. That tall boy must have gone up there and tripped the fuck over or some shit. Have not seen him. So, I've kind of gone on about the game and how it can be role played basically. It's just which do you prefer? Would you rather be terrified of some invisible ghost or terrified of vengeance? Yep. Just do not know. Whatever. Let's do our job here, because I don't think there's a cool, creative way I can take him out, except Incendiary Bolt. Because we have not seen enough people burn. Oh, the humanity. He's never come back, right. And that makes the second Incendiary Bolt I've thrown this entire game. Can I hit this guy? Yeah! Ooh, that hurt! Oh, he's still alive, okay. <laughs> right, did not expect him to survive that, to be honest. Who are you firing, buddy? Let's take out the second oil tank and... Okay. Okay. Damn it, right. That is fine. Shazam, get up here. Where are you, boy? Yeah, go for that. <laughs> oh, he's down there somewhere. Alright. There you are. All I need to do is hit dial tank. Hit dial tank. There we go. Oh, that door. I think I hit him that time. I'm one down. Right, that's fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, might as well kill one or two more while I'm here. Holy shit. Yeah, you're dangerous. I get it, buddy. I think that's actually the one I pelted. And he goes down. Who are you firing at? Seriously. You will never hit me. Keep trying, dude. Keep trying. Come on, I'll get... Okay, right, well. You're going to tempt fate so long. Whoa, he took that like a champ. All oh, right, in the tummy, man. Oh, it was the one in the leg that took it out from. Arrows in the knee, man, I'm telling you. Surprisingly lethal. Don't worry, everyone else says We will leave that to Dark Pylon to find that. Ah, oh, they're right there, actually. <laughs> Alright, well, look. Give us a reason to use the elixirs at any rate. Does the heart have anything else to say? No. The answer is no. Used a few bolts, but I generally don't need them anyway. Here are the blueprints, buddy! They're in the trash. 
Which is odd since he wanted all the information Our on this stuff. Is complete. 